Hello guys, today I am Ishan Gwal. Well, uh, is going to explain about the comparative analysis of machine learning algorithms for website phishing dataset. So I have taken a dataset from this link, UCI machine learning repository. You can also take any dataset. So we are working on this data set. So I will implement various uh, machine learning algorithms and will check the accuracy score on each of them. Now let's see the code. Here I have imported the pandas to import the data set which is a CSV file. Then we have a uh, independent attributes and and a dependent attribute result so which we have separated uh, we, i have used iloc to separate them on uh, x and y here we can see them now we will normalize the data so you by normalizing it will converted uh, between 0 to 1 which will help us in further machine learning algorithms like uh, KNN etc now now after normalizing we are ready with the data set and uh, we can split our data set into train and test so we could use a data set in any model and test them so to split we will uh, use sklearn as i have splitted my data set into 75 and 25 uh, 75 is the training set and 25 is the testing set here you can see the shape of training and uh, te testing data set so now let us implement the first machine learning algorithm that is navebys a navebys algorithm uh, to implement navebys algorithm we will use sklearn to imp to import gaussian nb and create gaussian nb object now it will give us accuracy that's 82 percent that is a good number so naive base is a probabilistic algorithm now after this we will implement add a boost for this we will use sklearn to import add a boost classifier and n estimator stumps is uh, 100 that is number of stumps we want to create in add a boost add a boost is basically forest of stumps so we will fit uh, x train and y train and we get accuracy that is 82 percent which is uh, also a good number now let us move to linear regression in linear regression model uh, it tries to fit the data set linearly that is in a equation of line y equals to mx plus c so to create linear regression object we will use sklearn for this we will find a mean square error and r score as you can see uh, our mean square error is less that is 32 percent this is because there are 10 features and linear regression model works best for less features so if your data set has less features then linear regression will definitely work better hence we got less accuracy now moving on to logistic regression logistic regression uses sigmoid function and is basically a classification algorithm so to create regression object we will again use sklearn and uh, now we will fit x train y train and then we get an accu accuracy score of 82 percent which is also good number moving on to perceptron perceptron uh, is an algorithm for supervised learning of binary classifiers it enables neurons to learn and process elements in the training set one at a time so let us implement it again we will use sklearn import perceptron object and fit our model and find the predicted value 
so we have accuracy score of 82 percent which is also a good number now we will implement the card decision tree for this we will use sklearn to import decision tree and for card decision tree we will use the criteria of uh, guinea index for id3 we use entropy we will fit our model and uh, see the accuracy that is 82 which is also good now let me show you how a tree looks so i use pi dot plus for which i have installed it now uh, so uh, and graph is to you to show the decision tree as you can see it computes the guinea index for all the nodes and chooses a root node gives us the two leaf nodes and hence our decision tree is created here is the decision tree now let us implement neural network in neural network there are several layers which works on the basis of the structure and functions of human brain it consists of many neurons which gets the input and they produce the output to the next consecutive layer neuron and hence we get our output so to implement that uh, we will use sklearn input mlp classifier to construct mlp classifier object here i have used layers size 888 eight, eight, and we fit our model so we get the accuracy 84 195 which is not bad that is good now we will implement svm that is support vector machine in this algorithm the data points are plotted on a plane and a hyperplane is created to separate those values so that we could classify which data belongs to which class and we can separate them via hyperplane so to implement this algorithm we will use sklearn to import svm object and fit our model so we will get the accuracy of 85 percent which is also a good now at last uh, we will implement knn that is k nearest neighbor algorithm this algorithm works on distance between the k nearest neighbors to that point and hence it classifies that this data belongs to which class so we will uh, import k neighbors classifier using sklearn here i have given in neighbors 3 we can give more now we'll fit x train y train we get the accuracy score of 87.90 which is also good so now as we, uh, we have implemented all the machine learning algorithms we can conclude that we get highest accuracy in knn k nearest neighbor of 87.9 so it so that data set fits best on knn Thank you.